Oh. That is very well spotted. Obviously female praying mantis, and I've never seen this personally before. There you can see the egg case as well in the back. Lots of little eggs in there. And she's busy both laying the eggs and producing that case as well. I don't know how to explain it really, but I think you know what I mean. This is very rare. There you can see, look at that. She slowly lays eggs and putting that protective cover or case over it as well. Wow. That's amazing. Now how long this must take, I don't know. Probably hours. Keep in mind she's got lots of energy at the moment. Not always, but very often or most often even after she and the male have mated, she would have eaten him. Maybe it sounds harsh to us, but in terms of the commitment to procreation to your species, it's quite, it's quite good. Basically the male and the female have mated, it's not like they're going to have multiple opportunities again to mate for the male. So then he essentially, I'm sure not willingly, but essentially sacrifices himself for the, for the benefit of the youngsters, really. Giving that female extra energy to make sure that she's the sustenance and the, and the energy to produce the young. Look at, that's how they grab their prey. You can see those strong spikes on the front legs. As much as they're very beautiful, I love looking at them like this. I'm very glad they're a lot smaller than us. Imagine this animal we're looking at now is the same size as us. We'd be living in a very different world. Big eyes, animals hunt a lot at night as well, and this specific one, I don't know the exact name of this individual, I actually checked it up a while back, I can't remember now, but it looks a lot like a green leaf, look at the texture even on the wings, and on the body just it looks like the veins on a leaf, you can imagine this sitting on a few grey uh, green leaves, especially combretums actually, your bush willows, it's very very similar, they will literally disappear. That was an excellent spot, Alex. Yeah. Now what we must do is remember this place. I'm sure we can. It's an easy place. It's just a matter of if we can remember it. And early summer, come and check it again. Maybe we can see little praying mantises coming out. The little ones look virtually to, to for about 80 or 90% of it the same as the adult. They are just very small. Again, my knowledge is not extensive enough to tell you exactly how many little ones will come out of that egg case. But I would say probably 30 or 40 or 50 
something in that region. So you can imagine the size of them when they hatch out. They are tiny. They will be the size of a little bit bigger than one of those spikes on her on her front legs. So next summer, early summer, we must pay extra attention here. We'll watch that little egg case, see what maybe comes out. Also beautiful lichens just in front of her there, sorry. Just as we leaving her. Just look at the texture there. These lichens would be many years old. Quite slow growing. Yeah, stunning. Leaves in the background. Now that's what you call camouflage. Of course, it is sometimes a little bit easier to hide with cameras around, says the voice. All right, let's go see if those kudus are around. 